Evernote tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, in this video, I will show you how you guys can use Evernote as a complete beginner. So firstly, when you guys come on to evernote.com, this is the dashboard that you guys are going to be seeing. So over here, you guys can see that they have a sign up for a free button. This is because they have a free plan that you guys can use as well. If you don't want to buy ever plan because they also have paid plans, which of course get you more features. So over here, you guys can see some of their features and options that they give you to basically skyrocket your work flow and they have three basic plans but before we go into these plans let's just take a look at Evernote's features that we get in their free plan and then we can see all of their paid plans as well so I'm gonna simply log in into my account and then after that I'll catch you guys in one second as soon as you guys have signed up this is the dashboard that you guys are gonna be seeing so over here you can see all of the features that you guys get in Evernote so firstly you have the option to view all of your stuff at once over here in this particular dashboard you guys can view your video clips you guys can also take a look at all of your images all of your documents audio emails whatever that you've put in in your notes you can take a look at all of those things over here so over here you also have the option to create a new note so if i were to click on create new note well then i will simply be taken over to the new note section so over here you guys can see all the features and options that you get while creating a new note you have the option to you can put in a paragraph points whatever else that there might be you can put all of that stuff in you, you can also add in to-do list reading list daily reflection list and also pictures as well whatever you please for example i'm gonna type in daily schedule over here just as an example and then as soon as i put this in so over here i can also put in a description as well so i'm gonna type in over here for example i want to do 10 podcasts in one day so like i can just simply type this in and i can just simply put this on as many lines as i want as long as i want that note to be so as soon as i've put in a few of these lines i can just simply create them in a numbered line or in bullet points as well so i'm going to simply select all of these and now i can just simply click on this button to create bullet list i can click on this one to create numbered list and i can create this one to basically check boxes to basically see what i've done so far and what i have not done so far so Another great feature of Evernote is the fact that you can just simply sync every single one of these notes across all of your devices. So once you have one account on Evernote, well then as soon as you guys log in that account on your phone or your iPad, well all of your notes are going to be synced over on that particular device. So similar to how Google Docs work, wherever you type in, that text is going to be synced across devices in real time. So hence, no matter which device you're using, you're going to be seeing the same information. So over here, you guys can also add in many different things. So for example, if I were to come over here on an empty space and I were to click on insert, now I can see that I can input many different things. So for example, I can choose to put in a task. I can put in a calendar event. I can also put in a table. I can put in a divider. I can put in an attachment, a photo, checkbox, code block as well, and also a sketch or any Google Drive file as well if I want to put that in over here. For example, it can be an MP3 file, it can be a document, it can be a video, and it's gonna play in real time over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a divider over here, and then after that, I'm gonna click on insert again, and then I can just simply put in a table over here as well. And I can just simply expand upon this table, and I can add in more columns over here. I can expand the rows as well if I want to. So guys, that is how easy it is for you guys to just simply start using Evernote to manage everything. So I can just simply use this table to basically manage my finances for the day as well if I want to. So I can put in um, credit, I can put in debit, I can do whatever I want. I can even put in like, you know, currency over here as well. So like similarly, if I were to type in something else, then it's going to show up as a currency over here too. So like that is how easy it is for you guys to just simply use Evernote. And these were some real world use case scenarios. You can also select the text that you just typed in and change the fonts as you want to make it, make it in a more handwritten form. You can also change the text size as well. And that is basically how you guys use Evernote for your note taking. So once you have a note ready, and let's say you were using Evernote to take notes of your class. So at the end of the day, let's say your friend wants some notes from you. What are you gonna do if you don't have Evernote? You will have to take a screenshot from your phone, scan that and send that over. But if you are using Evernote, well then you can just simply click on share from the top right. And then after that, you can just simply 
type in the email of the person or simply copy this link and just share this link with your friends or family and then after that as soon as they click on this particular link they will be able to view this particular node over in their browser or in their phone however they want to open this particular link so these are just some of the greatest benefits that you guys can get by using Evernote on the left side you guys also have the option to access some notes on to access some notes through a shortcut as well if you want to access them through a shortcut and of course below that you can see all of your tasks so you can also put in tasks for yourself as well over here and then as soon as you complete those tasks you can just simply mark them as complete and your task is, is gonna be completed so that is how easy it is for you guys to just simply start using Evernote and to start making notes now if you want to add any particular note into your shortcuts tab well then simply click on these three buttons when the node is open and then after that click on add to shortcut and now that particular note is going to be added to shortcut. Now, right now, I just have five notes, so it's very easy to navigate between them. But once you have thousands of notes, well, then you can just simply add them with a shortcut and you will be able to open up that note. So that is how you can use their shortcuts feature. Then you also have the option to find notes through tags as well. So let's say you have notes about a particular class, for example, physics. Well, then as soon as you take notes of that particular class, no matter how many notes to you take, you can just simply put in this tag physics with them. And then as soon as you put this tag with them, well, then after that, you will be able to just simply search for physics and you will find the physics notes. For example, if this was a physics note, well, then I would just simply click on add tag over here and I would type in physics and I can just simply add them to the physics tab. I can also add them to the class notes tab, just basically tags that are relevant. So as soon as I do that, now I can just simply click on tags and I can type in physics over here and I will be able to see all of my physics notes. So that is how easy it is for you guys to just basically manage all of your notes and to make sure that none of your notes are lost and that you have secured them and that you can find them whenever you want to see them. So that is how you guys can use Evernote's tag feature. Now, let's say if you delete any note accidentally, for example, if I were to come over here and if I were to click on these three buttons and if I were to accidentally move to trash, well, then I can just simply go to trash and I can see that note over here. I can also pull this note note back or I can just simply copy the contents of this particular note and I can just simply delete it as well if I don't want to keep this. I can also restore the note by clicking on these three buttons and then this note is gonna go back. And guys in the end I would just like to say one more thing that if you guys found this method helpful and if you guys think that this method actually works if you guys feel like this method is the perfect one for you then be sure to share this method with your friends and family as well because then all of your loved ones are also gonna be able to make money alongside you because what's the fun in making money if you don't have the people you love around you making money as well so what you need to do is that you need to share this video to your family's whatsapp group to your friends whatsapp groups and also to your instagram dms as well so all of those people could also make money because in the end if you guys are all making money yourself well then it's gonna be very very fun and you all are gonna become millionaires together now guys this method also covers all the basics of how you can get started with these softwares or these make money online methods and honestly if you follow this step by step then honestly you won't run into any problem and again one last thing if you guys run into any problem if you guys feel like you did not understand something well you guys can just simply watch this video again once and see if that works if it still doesn't work then watch this video again and again again and again till you guys completely understand because sometimes you might miss this stuff so it's always better to watch these videos again and again and similarly also tell your friends and family as well well to watch this video again if they don't understand anything because they covered everything so everything that you need to know must be in this video if you don't get it well then simply watch this video again and you guys will definitely understand it again in the end i would just like to give you my well wishes i hope that this method works for you and you guys are actually able to do what you want to do with these particular methods again it's not gonna take much time it's only gonna take a few minutes so definitely give this video a quick rewatch if you don't understand anything and good luck so that is how you guys can use Evernote and I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, take care. Till next time, goodbye.